What's up, Reject Nation? Gonna watch the Attack on Titan season four, final season, official trailer. I'm gonna do a screen recording of the one on YouTube. That way there could be some subtitles included here. I've been going through a lot of comments uh, the past couple days, so I'm doing my best to see what most people have been requesting. Hope right now that during this time, everyone is doing their best to be as safe as possible and doing whatever they can to be as truly informed and self-educating on this entire situation that's not just in America now, but is now pretty much worldwide. I would encourage you guys that if anyone is out there who's looking to engage in a peaceful protest to make sure that it's an, an official one. Just wanted to make sure to throw that tidbit out there. But anyway, Attack on Titan season four. Over at our Patreon, uh, I actually did watch alongs where you sync up with the time code for all of Attack on Titan. And the last half of season three had the option for watch along and reaction highlights included. It's been a long time since I've seen this show. I mean, a year for me with the amount of lore and heavy information that is especially revealed in the last few episodes of that series. I'm gonna do my best to recall as much as possible when discussing this show post reaction. Did want to shout out our Patreon page really quick because you guys have been incredible to us over there. Both John and I are doing our best right now to ensure that while we can sustain this channel and keep it alive, that we're also giving as much as we can to charity and with any of our earnings. But over at our Patreon, we have a weekly Q&A podcast uh, that we do three to four times a month. And then we also do TV show reaction watch alongs. And there are several shows that have reaction highlights included that we edit ourselves. And those shows are Attack on Titan, JoJo's Bizarre, our adventures. John just finished The Promised Neverland, Death Note, My Hero Academia, fully caught up on that, the two heroes movie included. Almost done with Code Geass, uh, midway through season three of Hunter Hunter, first season of One Punch Man, all of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Supernatural, and Doctor Who. And then there are several other shows where it's only watch along, shows like Gotham, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., The Mandalorian, there's actually a whole bunch. If you go on over to our Patreon page today, that would be amazing. Generally only plug the Patreon at the beginning of the month, just as a heads up. I heard there's a different animation company this year. War between Marley and whoa, who's that guy? <laughs> Why? Oh snap! Oh, the war is really going on, huh? Some new faces here. My God, this is such an epic trailer. <laughs> Oh my goodness. The last attack. I gotta say, even though they've changed animators, uh, I mean, I, I've heard some of the same people who were involved with doing the animation for the first three seasons, that this still looks undeniably beautiful and epic and sweeping camera movements. I heard this last season's only gonna be 12 episodes long. I haven't read the ma manga, uh, so, you know, I don't know how much condensing will go into it. And there are parts in here that I couldn't fully tell what might be present day with the current war, like with Marley and Eldians, what was 
flashback material because there's a lot of new faces. Now, I've also heard that with the animation, as crazy as it looks in the trailer, that it's going to look even better when the actual show comes out uh, because they're going to be enhancing it even more in the meantime. I think this is supposed to come out in the fall. Very excited to see this because, like I said, I haven't read the manga, so I really don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I know you got the the war between the Marleans, I think that's how you say it, and the Eldians, and then of course the fight for Paradise Island. You got the nine titans here. If you don't know the show, I'm not going to try to explain all the lore because honestly, I I, I simply cannot. I'm sure there's other videos out there, 100% confident. There's other videos out there that'll do a, a great job of breaking down all the lore. I mean, but if like just skimming these images, I don't know who this titan is. This one with all the the the, the complete white. Titan looks crazy to me. And then there's like some other images that stand out. Like, I mean, you got this image here with like some spinal like tentacle thing that kind of looks like uh, this could be linking to the origin of y Ymir here. And maybe this does too. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Obviously, you know, like we got a big breakdown of the basic history of Ymir and Fritz, all that with the, with Marley and then Paradise Island, what led to all that. I'm under the impression that this season will probably go a lot more into detail with the full origin of Ymir, how she came into the possession of the founding titan and all the actual nitty gritty details as opposed to just quick explanation breakdown. So I'm excited to really learn that. The fact that we got all the information we did get at the uh, last half of season three, now I'm really hoping we can do a full on dive in the way how we did with Grisha's history that we can do that with Ymir and really seeing a lot more in depth of the evolution of what led us to this point. And in all honesty, like the, the action in this show is some of the best I've ever seen ever in all forms of media. So the fact that we're getting like the rest of the other Titans of the nine, I'm just excited to see what gore that has in store. And also how that wraps, you know, just what sweeping action animation we have. I have no clue how this is going to conclude. I mean, we got so much information with like Zeke being the half brother of Aaron, but Aaron has, you know, the possession of the attack Titan, uh, the powers of the founding Titan within him. So it seems like it's going down a path. Aaron will be the ultimate savior for all of this, but this is anime and I haven't read the manga so things could end in a very very bleak way i'm hoping they don't because this show is so bleak already that it would be nice for this to end on a on a beautiful note the way how they got to the coastline uh, at the end of season three if it could have a bit of a of a note like that in the end maybe not a full-on conclusion because i imagine they're going to be doing a lot of time jumps i mean even the end of season three had a six month time jump and then this is going to be 12 episodes so while we're cutting between present and past presumably i think we'll probably see a time jump in in towards the end of the show that will show us the the conclusion and the path that we're on right now. Just give me this trailer. I th I thought this what this is Annie and like the crystal crystal chrysalis. I think it's I think it's chrysalis is the right word. So she's coming back. She's just been cocooning this whole time. This is just such a very special show. There's always so much breaks in between and the fact with the pandemic also going on uh, doesn't do the show any favors in terms of getting an earlier release date or something like that. So I'm pretty sure they're sticking to the fall for when the show will be coming out. There's a lot riding on this. This is the final season. It should be a very tight considering that it's only four seasons. The last season only being 12 episodes and this could go down in history if, if they play their cards right with how consistent this show has been if this could go down in history as perhaps the best anime or one of the best animes or just one of the best animated shows of all time i'm very excited to see what's in store here because this is going to be freaking epic you can just feel it and yeah so i uh, got a little crush on mikasa what are you gonna do i don't like a strong woman but i would leave her for levi any day something about his coldness i just want to fix him i want to get gaslighted by him in a very toxic relationship and try to get him to emotionally open up Maybe I can fix the guy. That's what I do when I watch Attack on Titan. I imagine myself in relationships with all these people. <laughs> Not Aaron though, he just got kidnapped. Anyway guys, are you excited for Attack on Titan season four? If you're here, you probably are. Leave your thoughts down below. Make sure to subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell to get notified whenever we got a new YouTube video up. Let us know in the comment boxes what other trailers you'd like us to check out or other videos and whatnot. I'm trying to do my best to see, you know, like what's most, what are most people requesting and such or, you know, vote on a comment that that helps too make sure to hit that like button last but not least 
Katie Ann wanted to shout you out today. Probably not watching this video, so you'll probably see this a little bit later. We've been talking a lot of messages lately, and I, I wanted to give you a sincere shout out today because I know lately uh, you've been experiencing quite a heavy toll. Uh, there's, I mean, a, a lot of us have worldwide. It's been really intense amongst everything that's already going on, which is affecting everyone, and then some more so than others, obviously. You've also experienced a lot of personal life loss. I'm so sorry for everything that's been happening in your life as of late. But I gotta say, though, that even though you've been experiencing a lot of really troubling, hard, difficult times, you've also been someone who's been a very positive force and an inspiration to be more creative in my life. While you're, you know, going through some very difficult times, you've also been someone who has managed to give me a more uplifting sense. That just goes to show you the kind of heart and soul that you really do have. Thank you. And you have a lot of creative outlets that you do hone in on. I'm hoping that, you know, as you continue to journal and whatnot, and also with uh, doing poetry, that that could be a great creative outlet for you right now. So I just wanted to say thank you for being you. Just keep on fighting the good fight and keep feeling whatever you gotta feel because you're someone who's been very special to me, especially lately. Keep at it because you're a beautiful soul. Thank you.